when Israel became a state, like many Palestinians were forced to to, to flee to the like neighboring countries and became and became refugees. Like as you see, like in the, on this map here. So this is this is what used to be called like mandated Palestine. And then, like, and then, like, in 1948, like, people started to flee to Lebanon, Syria, and Jordan. Like, the majority of, of Palestinian refugees do live in do live in Jordan, and they hold the uh, Jordanian passports. Like, but they're treated as second-class uh, citizens. Like, the ones who live in Syria are still stateless. Like, uh, they don't have any sort of passport, but they're given like the same rights as uh, like as Syrian citizens, which means like uh, they can own a property. They can work in the government. That they can go to school uh, for free. The ones in Lebanon, how, however, like where my grandparents like uh, fled to, uh, they have no rights for for whatsoever. Uh, they have no citizenship. Um, the, they're not allowed to work in 75 different uh, professions, including like like uh, medical professions, engineering, and etc. Um, so in 1948, like they walked on feet. Like and they fled to neighboring countries, like and they lived in, in refugee camps, like in tents. Like like as the days like went by, like now like like it's been going on for 71 years. They started to build houses. However, like you can see like the poor conditions that they like live in. Like the the Palestinians like in Lebanon have it have it the worst, where they can't even like get in the refugee camps, building <coughs> material to to like improve their uh, life conditions there. So you can see when you, when you walk around and see after I'm done talking, you can see like the the exposed electricity wires like everywhere. And like many kids like lose their lives every year like uh, because of these. And, like, and they can't do like nothing about it uh, just because like uh, they like they're not allowed to. Like and uh, this row here is basically like uh, to show you that like even though like it's been 70 70 like one years since they were like forced out of Palestine, like they still like hold on to their uh, identity. Like where they all still carry Palestinian flags, they still like wear the the Palestinian scarf. They still like do the traditional death cadence. And this here, they still like so so like we have like a something like as refugees, like part of our culture where where you know like we still like hold on to our keys. Like like it's called the key of return. Like which is basically. Like when our grandfathers, or grandparents, like were like fled out of Palestine, uh, they each like held on uh, to their uh, to their um, home key, like and they pass it on like to their kids and to their uh, grandkids. Like as you see, like this little uh, girl here, like is holding on to her key still uh, from her uh, grand uh, grandfather. Like and the idea like uh, behind this is that like to like never like lose hope that one day uh, they will like return back to Palestine. And get back uh, to their houses, even though like the houses, like most of them, like might be destroyed, like or <laughs> or like even like inhabited by like, <coughs> other people like, who replace them, like but they still like hold on like uh, to their key. Um, down here, like I'm trying to like show you, like even though like they have like this like these terrible life life conditions, they try to like uh, communicate uh, their struggle through art, like where they draw like on the walls of the of their refugee camps like about Palestine and their cause and like this one here like this character here is very like known in the Palestinian like culture like it's called Hanzala this was like this this was drawn by an artist called Najragi like fun fact like he's actually like from the same village like as my grandfather uh, fled from like which is like we're originally from like Tiberias right here like on this lake like he like anyway like he drew Hanzaga this way where he's giving you his back and he's looking down as he said and the theory like says that that once like once the refugees like return back to Palestine Hanzala like will turn his head over and he will be smiling but like between now and then like he will be still like looking like uh, that way like no one has seen like uh, his face wow. yeah like for 70 like one years like Hansa like has been just like why like, looking that way and so yeah like I just want you to like um, get up and just kind of like look at the pictures like and if you have questions just let me know and after that like we have an activity outside here to do I want no oh